June twenty third, acquaintance with grief. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, Isaiah fifty three verse three. We are not acquainted with grief in the way in which our Lord was acquainted with it. We endure it, we get through it, but we do not become intimate with it. At the beginning of life, we do not reconcile ourselves to the fact of sin. We take a rational view of life and say that a man, by controlling his instincts and by educating himself, can produce a life which will slowly evolve into the life of God. But as we go on, we find the presence of something which we have not taken into consideration, sin, and it upsets all our calculations. Sin has made the basis of things wild and not rational. We have to recognize that sin is a fact, not a defect. Sin is a red-handed mutiny against God. Either God or sin must die in my life. The New Testament brings us right down to this one issue. If sin rules in me, God's life in me will be killed. If God rules in me, sin in me will be killed. There is no possible ultimate but that. The climax of sin is that it crucified Jesus Christ. And what was true in the history of God on earth will be true in your history and in mine. In our mental outlook, we have to reconcile ourselves to the fact of sin as the only explanation as to why Jesus Christ came, and as the explanation of the grief and sorrow in life.